Maybe I should have come to you for advice for the kids' costumes. Aren't Evie and Mikey a little bit old for trick or treating? Oh, I'll make them take out the little ones. It's only two hours of peace I get a year. Still, I'll get to it with their swag when they come back, so that's a win win. Can you watch where you're going? Oh, wow. Our little ray of sunshine is back. How was your time off with Emma? Not exactly what I'd hoped for. Johnny's taken a six-month nursing job in the States. She's been a nightmare ever since. What, just up and left? No, he told me. I just didn't think he'd actually do it. Leaving Emma unprepared? And what's that supposed to mean? Well, it's important for her to have male influence in her life. I grew up without a father figure and never did me any harm. Clearly. Oh, hey. I need you in full prevention mode. I'm sensing DEFCON 4. She's ready to blow. No, it's not my problem if Johnny's done a run. Oh, is that what you think is bugging her? How am I supposed to know? What's up? A lift stuck with three members of staff in it. Maintenance can't shift it and the lift people are on another job, so it looks like it's going to be a while. How exhilarating. You kidding? That just freaked me out. Well, one of my many fantasies is being stuck in a lift with a stranger. The entombment, the uncertainty, the sense that anything can happen. Okay. That's just weird. Okay, so, but back to our conundrum. Um, how do we soothe the she-devil? Sasha, have you spoken to him? Would you send a gerbil to fight the Rottweiler? I mean, he's clearly not the man for the job. And neither am I. What's up with the vibes? Last week was bad enough. You know what? I'd like to stay in chat, but I need to make sure these people get out of the lift. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, Haley, paramedics said that you collapsed in a library. <laughs> I was looking for some new Mills and Boone. Ah, you romantic fool. Is that what got your heart racing? For my mother. She loves them. I'm more Patricia Cornwall. You can't beat a good thriller. Right, from your file, I see you have coronary heart disease. Bumped for an elective cabbage two weeks ago. Not the first time. And it isn't happening again. Built myself right up. Nerves were shot, and then they go and say, I'm going home. Well, it can happen in non-urgent cases. You may call it non-urgent, but I'm my mum's primary carer. I'd arranged all sorts of care cover. It doesn't come cheap, you know. Right, let's run some tests, shall we? See where we're at. Right, ask Fletch to order FBCs, use and an ECG. Why don't you ask him yourself? BP Loeb. She doesn't bite. Yes, well, I do. Tell Fletch I want Haley's test results on my desk as soon as he's finished. Why don't you tell him yourself? You do understand I have my own patients to attend to. This endless back chat. Just for once, do as I say. Oh, the devil wants Haley's printout. Yeah, I know. Special VIP service. You can tell her from me, I'm going to upload them to the system and she can look at them on a tablet just like everyone else. Do you want to tell her yourself? Loftus. How's it going, mate? It's like dealing with children. Fetch! Excuse me. What did my test show? Is my condition worse? Still waiting on your test results. Oh. You've been following a diet, taking your meds? Of course I have. Oh, I might have the odd bicky with a cup of tea. Got to have something to look forward to at the end of the day. You have help looking after your mother? The carers are lovely girls, honestly, but, you know, they're just so busy, run off their feet. I'm lucky if they come in for 20 minutes a day to help me get Mum washed and dressed. It must be hard for you. Is there no one else to help? My sister lives miles away. And she's got her own family to worry about. I really need this up, Frida. I'll do my best. But if there is no noticeable decline in your condition... I'm struggling just to climb the stairs every day. Okay, go back to your bay, and I'll see what I can do.
Are Haley Kinnan's results back? The ECG showed a minor STT change. So? So technically, she should go back on the waiting list. Technically. Um, are you adverse to me asking for a further echo? Knock yourself out if you can find a technician. So are you married? Uh, we went our separate ways last year. 22 years down the Swanee. <laughs> Don't get married unless you can take a joke. Says the woman of bitter experience. No. Says a woman refusing to be subjugated by subscribing to the punitive limitations of an outdated tradition. Uh, one of the happy-go-lucky bubbly types is Frida. I never thought it would happen to us. Mum warned me. But then, she never liked Tony. She doesn't like anyone very much, to be honest. <laughs> one of the reasons why she won't go into her home. Does she have medical problems? Mm. Diabetes, arthritis, high blood pressure, early stage dementia, wicked tongue and a scheming mind. She actually smiled when I said Tony was leaving. Ouch. Well, she needs nursing care. She'll get used to it. No, I, ju I just couldn't. I promised I wouldn't after what happened to Dad. She doted on him day and night. She expects the same from me. Everyone wants to be in their own bed when, you know. You paged me. See for yourself. Can you hold the transducer still? Or just hand it over. Knock yourself out. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Critical aortic stenosis. She's going to need an emergency valve replacement on top of the cabbage. What does that mean? Well, the good news is you get your surgery today. And the bad? Your condition is more serious than we thought. Prep of theatre. Uh, serious? How serious? I think what Miss Naylor meant to say is that it's good to treat it now, sooner rather than later. Don't worry. She's a great surgeon. That's what counts. Hey. You're gonna get your surgery. You're gonna be like a new woman. What and... about the risks? All surgery carries risks, Haley. But what I can tell you is that I've seen Miss Naylor perform hundreds of successful valve replacements without a hitch. I want you to do something for me, just in case. Call your ex. Get them in. But no. Just. Just tell him I'm sorry for always putting mum first. Well, I think that it is something that you should do yourself. <laughs>